What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, in what will probably turn into a small series of videos, we're gonna be testing out the new M1 Mac Mini and seeing if it can handle what DaVinci Resolve 17 can throw at it. Let's get into it. So if you guys are living under a rock or have not heard of Apple's new Silicon M1 chips, uh, they're amazing. I'm not even going to dive into everything. That's not what this channel is completely about. Uh, I am a filmmaker, full-time filmmaker. I do freelance work. I, that's where a lot of my income comes from. Recently, I was about to purchase a Mac Pro that I'm going to upgrade and can integrate parts that I want in and out of it. Still contemplating if I'm going to do that or not. But then Apple dropped their new M1 Mac Mini. At first, the specs didn't overwhelm me, but then I started researching more and seeing people test these new Mac Minis and the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro with this new chip inside of it and it being able to handle a lot of stuff. Now, if I pull up the specs, I just have the base Mac Mini. This thing was like 699, 256 gigs, uh, eight gigs of memory. I wanna see, can this base model Mac Mini M1 handle all this DaVinci Resolve 17 stuff? I'm gonna throw at it. Let's jump inside and get going. So let's load DaVinci Resolve. It seems to be loading about the same speed, nothing really to write home about, nothing that's crazy impressing me from uh, the load speeds on my normal computer. Uh, we're just gonna do a new project. All right, so the first test we got is we've got B-Raw. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the sound all the way down because I just have it coming straight out of the Mac Mini. I don't even have computers hooked up to it yet for this first test. Um, this is B-Roll, 4K um, Q0, I believe, so very high quality. It's still B-Roll, so it works really well. Uh, but for the first test, let's just grab this whole thing. Let's just drop it in here. Um, I'm actually gonna go to the edit page because I hate the cut page, that's just me. Uh, We're gonna play that through. Seems to be playing everything in real time, 24 frames, everything's good. Let me get to a point where I'm in the frame. Yeah, everything's good right there. Let's go ahead and make a cut as we're watching, seeing how it's doing. Yeah, uh, I didn't think that would have a problem at all, to be honest with you. Now, the things I'm really curious about is when we start hopping into the color page. So let's hop in here real quick. Uh, let's go ahead and just add a curve. It definitely seems to be a little delayed, not a whole lot. Well, see, now it's responsive. Like right at the beginning, it was a little bit of a delay. Now I gotta be fair to this system. I am screen recording at the same time. However, when I did a lot of my other tutorials, I'm screen recording on that too. So keep that in mind. Uh, we're gonna hop into the camera raw because this is a camera raw. Uh, let's just hit highlight recovery, even though I don't, I know I don't have it. Um, let's go ahead and turn saturation up a little bit bump a little more contrast. Let's uh, crank the highlight roll off uh, and let's bring the white level down just a little bit so I'm not clipping. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, let's go inside the LUTs and let's go ahead and add a new node, uh, option S, and let's add a film look. Let's just do something over the top. Uh, I can see it starting to bog down a little bit when I'm panning over it. Only at the beginning though, it's kind of weird. It's like once it loads, it, it's fine. It's just right at the beginning. Uh, that is hideous. Uh, let's just add you on there, making it look real bad. Um, let's go ahead and hop in here. Uh, let's turn a little bit of a radius up and let's, uh, let's also add a power window just for the heck of it. Um, let's make you real wide. Let's go ahead and invert you just like that. And let's feather the crap out of you just like that. Maybe move it over a little bit because that's where I'm going to be. Um, so let's hop back over here, play that through. Again, it's playing just fine. No problem whatsoever. Uh, so realistically, basic tasks we're looking at right now seem to be fine. This actually has been in a 1080 timeline. So that's good to know if you're shooting 4K in a 1080 timeline, which majority of you guys probably will be. Uh, but let's crank this up a little bit more. A 4K timeline, just like that. Go ahead and add that. Uh, I'm gonna hop back in this one. I'm gonna copy it back in here and V there we go play that through 
now we're starting to see some issues. Now it's starting to play fine. At the beginning, it was like having a struggle. I don't know if that's something to do with the new chip or because of only the amount of RAM that's in there, because again, a lot of this is integrated into that chip. Let's see, playback, use proxy media if available, use optimized media if available. Um, I don't have any of that on, nothing like that. Uh, we're off, so we're at full resolution right here. Um, let's go ahead and just do a single screen and maybe make it bigger, see if that'll kind of have a problem with it. Let's say you're just watching it, need to watch it through. No, nope, everything's good, 24 frames, everything's fine. Uh, I do wanna see, let's go ahead and make you a little smaller, a little big, looking at my face. Uh, let's go ahead and add some effects on top. Let's go over here and let's add some titles. Let's do a left lower third, we'll do right there. Let's uh, go ahead and bring our inspector over and let's just type something in. Let's see how that does. Definitely having some issues and there is nothing, nothing's happening to it. There's no keyframes to this. Definitely having some issues. Now, obviously we can always turn on, you know, optimize media or create uh, render catch and everything. So it, it is usable, but it is, there's no way that's 24 frames when it goes there. See up here how it still says it's 24 frames? There's no way that mug is 24 frames. I don't know if that's a glitch inside the beta version for DaVinci Resolve 17. It could be, uh, but there's no way that's playing 24 frames. That is definitely a glitch that Blackmagic will fix, I'm sure, with a further update. I have a decent amount of color grade on top of this. I've got a power window that's way over the top, uh, and I went on ahead and kind of saturated uh, my B-Raw clip. Um, I know that's like not the greatest example because B-Raw works really well. Uh, so let's just destroy it even more. Let's add another node, really make it look bad. Man, that's looking hideous. I'm digging that though, I'm digging it. Just to give it something kind of different, hop back in the edit page. Let's try playing you through again. Again, right at the beginning, there's a little bit of a problem. Uh, so that is good to know. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be diving into more of this, guys. This is just kind of some first test to see what's going on with this. And remember, this is DaVinci Resolve's first go at optimizing this for this brand new chip that just came out. I'm sure they've had a little bit of time to kind of play with it and get it kind of worked out. But again, this is the very first step in what will be a lot of updates. And again, we're still in beta. So that's a big thing in itself. I have a lot of problems with the beta version on the Intel Macs that I've been running for so long. And before you ask me in the comments, this is for sure DaVinci Resolve 17 that is optimized for it. I believe it's 0.1 or 0.2, I'm not really sure. Uh, but I made sure when I downloaded it from Blackmagic Design, it said it was the optimized version. I am using the studio version because I have a studio license, but that should not mess with anything whatsoever. We are gonna be messing with some different kind of files, effects, all those things so if you guys have not subscribed subscribe check out what we're gonna do on this mac m1 mini mini m1 mac i don't know give me a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe if you haven't already ring the bell i'll see you guys next time i'm the iron giant peace